At the time of this recording, I have 157 subscribers. It'll probably go down before going a bit higher, as it's usually how it goes for my channel. But I wanted to say thank you to all of you who subscribed. Passing the bar of 150 was surprising to me. I am not a YouTuber, really. I am just a dude having fun doing some videos and sharing the things I like with whoever wants to hear about it. And while 150 subscribers might seem really little as far as YouTube channel goes, if I try to imagine 150 people in my home, it does sound like quite a bit of people. I think some wouldn't be able to get in, actually. Two months ago, I told Ishan that I would soon have more videos than subscribers, and I'm quite happy to see it won't happen just yet. So once again, thank you, and I hope I'll be able to bring you some entertainment that'll keep you, uh, yeah, well, entertained. Now, what's to come? What do I have planned? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not one to make much plans, but here's what I'm doing these days. I'm still on my first playthrough of Tales of Vesperia, which is taking almost all of my free time, as I do enjoy it a lot. The game seems to be separated in three parts, and I am at the end of part two. I've heard that the game kind of falls apart in the third part, but we'll see, I guess. I definitely plan to report on it once I'm done with the game. So that's a video that should come up on the channel in 2-3 weeks. Apart from that, I really want to finish my Songbringer playthrough. No one seems interested by it, could be because of the bad voice acting I'm doing in those or maybe it's just the game in itself, but I do like it and I enjoy doing those videos, so it is what it is. There's only two episodes left to go, uh, so this is almost done. I will, of course, keep on doing the Villagers and Heroes poll discussion videos. Most people seem to enjoy them, and it's quite easy for me to do. It even helps me practice my English speaking skills. So as long as V is putting up polls on the Discord, I will make those videos. I'm enjoying my Gaming Journey series, where I talk about the game that had a huge impact on me. I am now almost done with the Game Boy games. Next is the Super Nintendo Hera, and I'm quite excited about the games I'll be talking about. Beating my time in the randomizer run in Bloodstained is still on the menu, but I just didn't have the time to practice that run since my last video on it, so it is what it is. Apart from all that, I started a Hollow Knight playthrough with commentary. I already have two videos uploaded on the channel, but I have no idea when I'll pick it back up, so I'm holding them for now. I feel it would suck to publish the beginning of the playthrough and not following up with it. Once I'm done with Tales of Vesperia, I want to try to get into the Armored Core franchise. I bought Armored Core 3 on my PSP years ago and never touched it. I've been watching some videos about it lately and I really want to give it a shot. Don't expect me to do a playthrough of that, I have no idea how to get footage from my PS Vita, but I'll probably give my impressions on it at some point, like I did with Tales of Vesperia. I will of course keep on doing some shoutouts for mobile games, but I don't have any planned for now to be honest. Well, Dismantle maybe? Looks like a pretty fun game, and it's made by 10 tons which is usually good news. And I think that's about it for now. I just wanted to thank everyone who subscribed and give you an idea about what I have in mind for the near future. If you have some suggestions, please give them to me. Sometimes I just don't know what to do or where to put my limited free time in. Anyway, 
Okay, enough rambling. As always, thanks for watching and bye-bye.